Today we're going to show you how to do your uh, quick start setup for your Legend Basic or Legend Advanced system with the new version 4.1.1 for Basic or 2.1.1 for your Section Aware system. So the first thing we're going to do is open the app. Once the app's open and loaded, we're going to go and click on the top right hand corner icon. We're going to click on ECU setup. At this point we're assuming you've already connected to the Wi-Fi. The first thing you're going to want to do is enter your serial number right here. Your serial, serial number can be found on your ECU itself or in your Wi-Fi network coming from your legend ECU. Once that's entered, we're going to hit the home button and move back to the main screen. At this point, we need to turn on the loops or send power to the sensors. And we're going to do this by adjusting the sensitivity on loops one and two. Press the green zero and then select yes and ent enter a sensitivity of one. We're going to do this for loop 1 and loop 2. Once we've done this, we're going to go to the setup menu, which is the icon that looks like a wrench and a gear at the bottom. It's called the Cedar Setup Menu. This is where we're going to tell our Eggtron Legend system how many runs are on each loop. So in this case, we're going to make this a 60 run system on a double shoot drill. So you're going to enter it in here for loop one and here for loop two. Once we've done this, we're going to make sure there is a test speed or a speed type enabled. If you enter a test speed, it will automatically default to that number. If you want to set the, use the tablet's GPS. You'll need to select it under speed type and select tablet GPS and then set your test speed to zero. Once you're done here we're going to hit our home button again and go back to the main screen. Now what we're going to do is select uh, the section setup menu which is the farm looking button with the numbers 1, 2, and 3 and once we get here, we're going to assign our sensors to each run. You can see it says run of zero in every row. And if we go on the right arrow at the bottom right, you'll be able to see your next set of sensors. So as soon as we hit this button that looks like a play button with a gear, it will assign uh, all the run sections. So we're going to click yes. And once those are all assigned, we're going to click on this little uh, button with the number 2 with an arrow around it to get to loop 2. And then we're going to do the exact same thing and assign all of those uh, sensors runs. Once we have done this, we're going to click the home button again. And you can see all of your runs are appearing on your main screen. And now you're ready to start seeding. Once you're seeding and you have no blocked runs, you're going to set up your seed rate wizard. And this can be done by clicking on the green number here for loop one, here for loop two, or the two wizard hats at the bottom. You're going to set this in your pounds per acre that you're seeding. So once you click on the seed wizard, it'll come up and you're ent you will enter your actual seed rate. So in this case, we're seeding at 100 pounds per acre. So we're going to click OK. And once we have that assigned, we're going to go back to our sensitivity, which was set at 1, just to turn the loops on. We're going to click it, and then we're going to click the button that says Wizard. And this will automatically set your seed rate, your seed rate sensitivity based on the amount of product that uh, your, your sensors are seeing. Now from here, 
We can also set up our towers. So we'll go back to the farm button and the tower setup is under section. So in this case, to make it easy, we'll say that each section has, or each tower has 10 sensors on it. So the first 10 are section one. The second 10, we're gonna click right where the one is at the top and select two. For the third one, we're gonna select three. For the fourth, we're gonna select four and then so on for the rest of the towers. Once we've done this, we're gonna save our profile right here. And we're gonna click Save. And then you can recall those settings anytime. Then we're gonna click the Home button again. And you can see here, your towers are separated one through six with 10 per tower. That is the basic operation of the legend system for both basic and section aware.